MBOT stock appears to be consolidating its uh, strong performance with the, between the 22nd of uh, May and 26th of uh, June this year, 2023. And as of 22nd of May, we saw that uh, it uh, ran up a huge spike. I think this was just a one day spike to $3.18. To $3 and then uh, retraced, got support just above its uh, 20 day, uh, 50 day moving average and spiked up again up even higher than what it was earlier on to 3.4 3.45 since that time it has uh, you know continued to retrace yet um, showing um, lower highs the the highs uh, the peaks are descending now we have this peak of um, 2.94 and then 2.82 and we now saw a support at us uh, at uh, 2.47 as of uh, the 14th of uh, July and we can say that um, it's currently definitely below its uh, primary demand line of uh, 20 of um, primary demand line of uh, 21 day moving average or 20 day moving average it's below that so the implication of that is that maybe there isn't enough um, there isn't enough demand at the moment with uh, a lack of demand we might see what uh, might be uh, less aggression but um, just just a gradual uh, gradual momentum you know that uh, may not involve a huge amount of uh, volume but it is also uh, at times when uh, you have uh, this modest uh, volumes that uh, you may also see uh, this the price of the stock uh, even perform well because it doesn't it's not in it, it which doesn't uh, entertain it it doesn't um, involve a lot of uh, activities that will result in a lot of uh, climatic um, um, actions you know there isn't the participation is somewhat minimal at this sort of level at this sort of level demand seems to be to be low if not poor demand seems to be low if not poor and what we might see is that uh, it may just gradually begin to inch up you know gradually you know those who were there earlier on a month ago they're about were there to buy the news they have done that they've cashed in that they've left those who are really keen on the stock you know they are the ones who are probably still around and they may just gradually begin to drive up the price you know indeed indeed those who were there to make the money give it the aggression it needed but uh, there, those who are you know there for maybe the longer term so, so to say or just you know who are there to participate um, in the stock you know as it's you know in its um, quiet nature in when it's uh, not so uh, not so yeah not so aggressive you know those are the ones who may be here right now and they might uh, they indeed also come with their own aggression but um, it's also at times like this when the market for any 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 security any stock when a market is uh, quite uh, 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 it's quiet that you may also see things also happening you know um, let's see, look at the upper project. Well, let's look at the projections. We have a downward projection of uh, $2.58 all the way down to $1.32 on this daily chart. But up, upper projection, there are a couple of upper projections. We have uh, 3 .3 3.04, 3.3, 3.34, 3.57, 3.80. 4.14 4.59 and all the way towards uh, 5.81 dollars so the news as of the 11th of uh, July around the about a week ago we saw that um, the company uh, expanded its uh, physician support with the addition of uh, leading Italian inter interventional radiologist Irene Bagellini to its uh, scientific advisory board so it says that uh, they did, you know, um, uh, micro, so microbot medical, the developer of Liberty Robotic Surgical System, the first single use endovascular robotic surgical system, announced on the 11th of uh, July that um, Irene 
Bagellini, an interventional radiologist and uh, chair of uh, diagnostic and interventional radiology department at Candiolo Cancer Institute in Turin, Italy, has joined the company's uh, scientific advisory board. Dr. Bagellini is the latest expansion of uh, Microbot's global presence with uh, highly esteemed medical experts in large addressable markets. And then she's a primary clinical scientific uh, her, her primary clinical and scientific focus is on is on oncologic imaging and interventional oncology with uh, reference to liver imaging and uh, liver tumors, local regional and systemic therapies. Okay, so that was the la that's the latest news concerning um, MBOT. So we have uh, once again our, our projections of uh, three point zero four. Um, this is uh, approaching the highs of uh, the latest uh, highs of um, the, re the the last rejection of uh, 3.45 dollars so there, there's also a, a, a projection just slightly below that 3.34 and then after that there is uh, a projection above that 3.45 which is uh, 3.57 dollars so see what you make of MBOT and I will continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.